Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Wieliczka Salt Mines of Southern Poland. The Wieliczka Salt Mines were founded in the 13th century, and they're some of the oldest continually operating salt mines in the world. Now it seems strange to us today because we've all got table salt in the kitchen, but salt was once a very, very prized and expensive commodity. And these mines were actually owned and operated by the king. The money here was used to develop royal projects around Poland. The mines themselves are 360 meters deep and there are kilometers worth of tunnels down there. We're gonna go and have a look. I'm really excited to check it out. Although most people think of salt as being white, and it is, the better quality salt is what you can see behind me, and it's actually bluish grey, because it has more minerals and it's healthier for you. Now what I also find fascinating is that salt has been hugely important to Poland over the years. In the time of Casimir the Great, this and other salt mines consisted of 30% of Poland's economy. Now this isn't the largest salt mine in Poland, there are others that are larger. And although they don't mine salt here anymore, they do still manufacture it by pumping out salty water from the mine and then reducing it. But it doesn't go onto your table, it actually goes onto the roads during winter. Now this is incredible, it's the largest chapel in the mine and it's just enormous, dug entirely out of the salt. Now it was dug in the 19th century and it's about 200 metres underground and it's still in use. They have classical music concerts and mass every Sunday, weddings as well, it's really cool. We've been on the tour for about an hour now and there's just so much cool stuff to see like sculptures in the salt and lots of mining equipment as well. It's a real history of mining because it has been used for so long. Well, this is the end of the tour and it's been fantastic. I wasn't really sure what to expect with a salt mine, but yeah, it's really, really impressive. The chambers are huge and to think that almost all of it was dug out by hand, you know, this was almost entirely done in the age before explosives. So yeah, it's just very, very impressive. Very cool, well worth a visit. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.